Hello Gontroller and welcome back to another video and I know it's been a long time as per usual but here I am nonetheless. This time I'm going to talk to you about a new event which is coming up soon on the 2nd of November which is in just under, a, well just over a week when I make this video. And basically I'm just going to talk you through what's happening and what you need to do to be able to enter. Now I'm sure most of you have heard of the X Mists maze at Slash Maze 1 and Slash Maze 2. But if you look in the background, there's some footage there just to recap you guys and keep you entertained whilst I talk you through what's happening. The reason why those are relevant is because for this maze, it's the last man standing Dungeon Labyrinth Edition. Dun dun dun! I know, I know, calm down guys, keep the hype on a low down level. I do not want a riot on my hands. So if you guys were around for the previous last man standing event, you'll know what's happening. Basically, we chuck you all in an arena and you will fight it out for, I don't know, however long it takes you to kill each other and be one man standing and who will be the winner. Obviously if it takes too long then a couple of members of staff will jump in and just you know nudge you in the right direction towards each other that way we can get it over and done with quickly as opposed to people camping in corners which no one likes. So when you join the arena you'll be randomly teleported to one of the four corners. You'll have a 30 second period where PvP will be disabled so then everyone can run around and prepare themselves. Obviously then after this 30 second cooldown we will then enable PvP and then everyone for themselves, you know. Now unlike the previous Last Man Standing event where you had to provide your own items such as armor and weapons and potions, we will instead be providing a kit for you so then it's more even for everyone and everyone can take part. This kit will contain one set of diamond armor which has protection 4 and breaking 3 on it, one sharpness 5 diamond sword, two strength 2 potions, two speed 2 potions, one regen that lasts for two minutes, 32 cook state, one super golden apple, and a number of splash health potions. To add another twist to it, as well as the kits, you will also be able to find items spread out across the labyrinth maze. This encourages people to explore and have fun instead of just camping in those corners which no one likes, and give an advantage to those who are curious and look for stuff. One thing that I need to make apparent to you guys is that to be able to enter the Last Man Standing Labyrinth you will have to have gained 50 votes over the previous month which is October. If you do not manage to get at least 50 votes this month then you will not be able to take part in it. We're sorry for that, it's not that we hate you guys, it's just that we need to make sure that we don't have too many people because last time that caused a lot of lag and this is one way to limit that. In other words I guess you could say we're just rewarding the people who are most committed to controller and giving them priority. Some extra rules that you guys might want to know, or probably will need to know, uh, things such as all commands will be disabled, this does mean that you will not be able to use backpacks, kits or ender chests. Basically anything with a slash in front of it, don't even try using it. Once the battle has begun, you will not be able to enter the arena no matter what, and the only way out is through death or killing everyone else. Lots of fun isn't it? Friendly fire will be enabled, so parties and faction relationships will not protect you, you can kill whoever you want and be killed by whoever. Also, if there's extended periods of time with no PvP or something just, it comes a bit stagnant I guess you could say. Some pretty angry skeletons or some admins might join the arena just to speed things up a little bit, if you know what I'm saying. A little love tap here and a love tap there. I think you know what I mean. Lastly, when players die, the items will be dropped on death, which will be protected by a 10 second timer. The items I mean, not their dead body. Last thing that I almost completely forgot to mention is that because of the insane amount of people we've had taking part before, we're going to be running this event in rounds, so then everyone has a chance to take part, but it'll be in slightly smaller groups of people. Only 50 players will be able to join each round at a time, and we'll be running multiple rounds throughout the day and evening, so then everyone has a fair chance to take part and play. And now for the most important part, what do you win if you win the round? The winner of each round will be getting a $75 Bycraft coupon, which is a lot of money depending on how many rounds we do. I'm fairly certain we're going to only be allowed you to take part in one round per person because it seems a bit, a bit unfair if we let you do more. Okay. But you will have a chance to win $75 which you can then use on the controller store to rank up or buy in-game items and things. Good fun. But that is basically it from me, I don't think I've covered everything, if not, oh well, you know, you'll live. I'll link the thread so you can read it up on yourself. But I think that's it from me, like I said, um, if you have any feedback or questions, leave it in the comment section below, or get in contact with me through the forums, Twitter now, because we do have Twitter, get us, we're modern, I know, love it. 
Um, but like I said, if anything you want in the feedback in the comments, um, and I guess I'll see you next time.